Nice to see you alive, NL. I'm glad you didn't get a brain hemorrhage from Apollo's chat yesterday. Thank you, thank you. I was kind of losing it. Among I, I get that it wasn't every individual in consensus, but just some of the bait takes in Apollo's chat had me kind of like losing my mind. Someone said Quentin Tarantino has one good movie. It's Reservoir Dogs. Listen, I don't expect everybody in Twitch chat to be intelligent enough to sit through three hours and 20 minutes of masterpiece filmmaking that is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but you're really going to put some disrespect on Pulp Fiction. Reservoir Dogs is, is good. It's a good movie. It got attention for a reason. Pulp Fiction, Django Unchained. Inglorious Bastards, Inglorious Bastards might be the best of them all. There was another take that got me, that got me stressed out. I can't remember what it was, though. And I was like, I got, what am I doing in Twitch chat on a Sunday, man? I got to go do the dishes or something. It wasn't bait. It's Apollo's chat. In my chat, there's bait. In Apollo's chat, there's no bait. There's just people who have insane opinions. No disrespect. Oh, dude, he did say that I lost my mind a little bit. He did say, I told him to watch The Insider because I watched The Insider on the bike on Sunday. I gave it a four and a half out of five with a heart. But to be honest with you, I've been re-examining the rating that I gave it, thinking that maybe it actually deserves a five, because maybe I have a bias towards movies that tug at your heartstrings, and The Insider is more of like a, a slow burn, kind of like intellectual Andy. Uh, that it has some sentimental moments, don't get me wrong, but maybe it's not fair to say like, oh, I'd consider it like 0.5 worse than Little Miss Sunshine just because there's no like uh, scene where everybody tells like a nine-year-old girl that it's okay to eat ice cream, you know what I mean? I'm going to go out on a limb, and this take might be a little crazy. After watching The Insider, I said to myself, you know, I don't want to put my nuts on the table. I almost always do like to put my nuts on the table. This time, I'm not going to put my nuts on the table. I might put the tip of a finger, a tip of a finger on the table for this. I think it's possible that the insider might be better than Heat. And Heat is insanely good. The set pieces in Heat are unbelievable. The, um, the gravitas of De Niro and Pacino together. But the insider is, is also amazing, man. The Insider is crazy. He'd got to be the loudest movie ever. That is true. It's also nice to see like Al Pacino in good movies. It's, it's so easy to forget that he's actually like an amazing actor. Because <laughs> of his... I mean, he, a lot of stuff in the 2000s was not good. And then Dunkachino is like easy to make fun of. And, you know, you get the idea. And then he had uh, like a kid at age 84. Did you know that both Robert De Niro and Al Pacino are listed in the Wikipedia article for like the oldest confirmed man to have fathered a child? They're not number one. There's like some shit from the 1300s that was chiseled into clay tablets or something. But like they're, I, I thought they were just old dudes having kids. They are actually like historically old. You got to break their record. Nah, I'm just chilling. <laughs> we went to a kid's birthday party on Saturday. I can't, I don't know. This is like the most parent relatable bit. So like, I don't expect everybody to relate to it, but it was so nice to go to like a three-year-old's birthday party and none of the moms at the birthday party were pregnant. Cause you're always like, it, don't get me wrong. It's their business, but it leads to the question of like, are you guys going to have another one? And we're like, Hmm. Probably not, but like I don't really want to have this conversation with like pseudo strangers every single time. When you go to a kid's birthday party and there's like seven kids and none of the parents of the kids are pregnant, you're like, my people. <laughs> Let's go! My kid is six months old. We get this convo so much. That's crazy. You should be like, damn, shorty, we just popped this one out. Six months? That's like still, your car is still like flipping end over end. And they're like, you know, do you think it's a write-off or are you going to like take it to the auto body shop? You're like, bitch, just let the car come to a complete stop first. Like if someone shot a cannonball through our lives and you're like, what do you think? Another cannonball? Just relax. Just at least like a year and a half or something like that. My brother and his wife just had their third and I'm like, you can stop now. 
one kid, normal. I'm obviously I'm biased. I am one kid and I also have one kid. Two kids might even be more normal, I'm willing to say. Three kids is the last one at the edge of normalcy. If you have four kids, not to be rude. And the, like, again, it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm not saying this is you, but you have to submit documentation to prove it. Four kids, I'm like, cults. You're in a cult. Please submit me documentation indicating you are not in a cult. You have doubled... Your, your partner and yourself have doubled your impact on the world. I would like to know why you chose to, not even environmentally, but just like for your own life. Why have you chosen to do that? And if you're like, well, I'm part of a group that believes, I'm like, okay, I knew it. If you're like, parenting is my life, I'm like, okay, I, I love that for you, but not for me. Fair enough. I don't think you're a bad person if you have four kids. Doesn't Sips have six kids? My grandma had 10 kids. Bro, that was in like fucking 1922, okay? Like the, the world has changed. Also, you can have 10 kids. I am just asking you to justify yourself. I'm not saying you shouldn't be able to. You don't have to justify yourself. I'm just asking you to. You could give me the middle finger and tell me to fuck off. At the end of the day, it really isn't any of my business. This dude's grandma only had 10 kids. It is kind of crazy to, to think about. The, both of my grandparents, my sets of grandparents combined, had seven kids. So even that was like pretty small for the era, although it was like the 1960s. It wasn't like the Great Depression. And then my parents chose to have one. And then we have chosen, at least as of right now, to have one. That's a fucking concentrated ass. That's like some DNA shatter, bro. Like if you smoke that shit, you're getting high as fuck. We took that DNA and we compressed it down to like a, a fucking diamond, bro. You smoke that shit, you're seeing your ancestors. It's like this one person contains like, you know, a billion people. What about Kate's parents? They had, they had two and then Kate had one and Kate's sister had two. So they turned two people into three people which is kind of like a sick magic trick when you think about it, but it wouldn't sell many tickets because it did take like 30 years. <laughs> Nobody's got time for that. You see this Casey Neistat tweet? This blew my mind. I think I saw it in 2020, but then I just like didn't realize how insane it was. Um, but then I saw it resurfaced on my Twitter feed and I said, this guy, he has to justify himself to me. November 29th, 2020, Casey Neistat, if you could be born at any time in history, when would it be and explain? He replied to himself, for me, 1900, fight in World War I, Roaring Twenties, Great Depression, fight in World War II, then experience the 50s and 60s in my 50s and 60s, enjoy my twilight years with the modern conveniences of the 70s and die in the 80s before all this internet bullshit begins? Are you fucking stupid? You might have actually picked the worst birth year in human history. People who got the, the low roll and were born in 1900... Like, they got cosmically fucked. Why would you ever choose to fight in either world war <laughs> instead and experience the Great Depression between them? Do you know what that is? Like, from 1914 to 1945 is like 31 years of pure hell, man. World War I, it, dude's a roaring 20s. Okay, after I got trench foot and PTSD, come back to the roaring 20s, prohibition, 18 months of drinking, you know, bourbon out of a bowling ball in a speakeasy underneath a fucking, like, laundromat or something like that. The global economy collapses. Then I'm on a barge to Europe to fight the fucking Nazis. That's the first 31 years of your life? That's, it it's, might be the, the wrongest answer if uh, you could possibly write, man. It's crazy. If anything, your ass should be born in, like, 1878 get a chance you could become a millionaire by inventing like a new sandwich too old to get drafted in the first world war rich enough to ride out the 20s senile during the second world war and then just fucking drift off bro then you're chilling yeah the civil war already ended i don't know that much about the antebellum era but i'm pretty sure everybody was just chilling right <laughs> right are you impressed that I know the word antebellum? 
and I did not learn it from the it's a quarter after one, I'm a little drunk and I need you now band. Antebellum is pre-war? What? You mean Parabellum? I haven't seen that one yet. That's that's John Wick 4, right? I thought I had something to say. Do you guys, well, you know what? I should put myself on the screen because you never know if this could be TikTokable. Americans will never understand how hard it is to be Canadian. Do you know how much we get honey dicked watching the Super Bowl? You watch the Super Bowl. Uh, it's been on for two and a half hours. The score is 3-0. Incredible. Um, finally, the main event, the commercial comes up. You see Tom Cruise's face for three frames. Then it gets cut and CTV says, the event you've all been waiting for, the premiere of Sullivan's Crossing, happening in April on CTV. And you're like, what, what, what happened to Tom Cruise, man? Tom Cruise was about to, you know, do some kind of handshake with Val Kilmer to promote Crypto.com. I was, but they, I wanted to see that, man. But instead they're like, no, new episodes of Young Sheldon are airing right now on the CTV app. Come on, man. I don't wish to work. I just want to bang on my drum all day, all day. I don't... No, no, wait. This is, this is uh, time-traveling Pharrell Williams who made Happy. Uptight All Right by Stevie Wonder. They don't have it. Okay, let's go next. I do like that, okay. I you you knew I'd like that, and I do like it. This is Suzy Q. This is way too early. Oh, this is I feel good by James Brown. Boom boom. I'm James Brown. Wow. <laughs> It's too easy. It's too easy. Yeah, it's so true. Me when I feel good. <laughs> that was that was fine. Bandles had some some gimmies lately, but they kind of owe it to us after that Tovlo song that nobody's ever heard. Steel Joto, I can only think of Steelix. Steelix is real. Final Evolution Joto. You ever hear of a little lad by the name of Togekiss? You ever hear of a little lad by the name of Togetic? Have you ever heard of a little? Oh, I'm dead. Toga Kiss is Gen 4. Oh, for alligator. Oh, it's not Kecleo. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a score average, 8.4. Oh, bite me. Go back to posting about how much you hate yellow paint in video games. This argument over the yellow paint is blowing my mind, man. There should be yellow paint to tell you where to go. There shouldn't be yellow paint to tell you where to go. How about if you have designed a part of your game where you need yellow paint to tell people where to go, which seems reasonable to me, cut that and just put Slay the Spire inside of your game instead. You don't need yellow paint in Slay the Spire to tell you what to do. Just design around it, bro. I did. I had a, a tweet bubbling up, though, and I said... I'll aggravate the football fan base that doesn't bother me. I'm not going to ang aggravate the gamers because they don't have anything better to do than harass you. But I thought, you know the tweet that was like the, from Dave Oshry, the yellow paint virus has infected Final Fantasy VII Remake? I thought about referencing the tweet and saying the yellow paint virus has infected the Binding of Isaac and then taking a screenshot of the first room where literally it has paint on the ground that's like, WASD to move, you know, the arrow keys to fire... And I was like, that would be sick. But I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'll just tell you I could have done it. Have we done this before where I ask you, like, I love vinegar, but I don't know what it is? Like, what, how do you make this? Because, like, it has, like, eight vegetables on the bottle, but it, those vegetables are not used to make vinegar. <laughs> There's no way it's old wine, bro. Because, like... Wine is expensive and vinegar is like insanely cheap. If, if they were making vinegar out of old wine, I would be like, hey, uh, you know, Giuseppe, the wine's about to go bad. 
Should we make it into vinegar? I'd be like, no, bro. Let's fucking drink that shit and party. Because when we sell it, it's going to be 1.32 gallons for like three bucks. We might as well just get hammered. Sugar water plus bacteria, then it's distilled to purify. Is that all natural? You know what pisses me off? So we buy goldfish crackers because my daughter loves to eat them and thus I love to eat them. And the, on the back of the goldfish box now, it's like Pepperidge, families love Pepperidge Farms. And why shouldn't they? We've been delighting them for decades with all of, and then it has like the sales points and it's like a source of 12 essential vitamins and nutrients. And I'm like, bitch, you didn't do that. Wheat did that you disingenuous so-and-sos. You just took the wheat and put some cheese in it and cut it into a fish. You're taking credit for something you didn't do. It should say, we cut it into a fish and we added cheddar cheese. It's the wheat that's given you the vitamins and the minerals. Pepperidge Farms didn't do anything, man. Now, I, we love them. We love them, folks. We do. The bus goes here. The bus goes there because that's what buses do. Okay. Vinegar is really cheap. One point gallons. Can I get a quick check chat, by the way? What, what does one gallon equal in normal people measurements? It's like three liters. A gallon is three liters. 3.8 liters per gallon. Holy. So this is five, if you'll excuse me, five liters of vinegar. I'm going to say, but vinegar is so cheap. I'm going to say this is like $13.99 despite its prodigious size. No, okay. I... A way overshot. I mean, it's five liters. Oh my God, bro. What? <laughs> this is blowing my mind. Is 249? I don't know. Yes! Free? Free? I love people saying it's mostly water. Bitch, you're mostly water. I can't get your ass for $2.99. This is your first day on Earth? Are you the alien from Signs? Everything here is mostly water, bro. $2.99 for five liters of vinegar. You know what? I, that's what I was saying. I would just drink the damn wine, man. Those companies are doing us a service selling vinegar. Kirkland Pinot Noir is actually fire. Um, <clears throat> we're not allowed to buy uh, alcohol at Costco here. That being said, you can buy 1.4 kilograms of Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips and you don't even have to show ID or anything. In Quebec, we can. Yo, Quebec got that uh, Unibrew variety pack with Blanche de Chambly, Maudite, and La Fin du Mont. C'est vrai. Très magnifique. Une histoire du Melody Nelson. I love that for you. Chad, don't make fun of me, okay? This is France, right? <laughs> we, we needed this one. Yes! I'm so back, I'm no longer demoralized. They heard me talking about laughing Dumas. Now they think I need to go to the Preposé au soin de santé plus qu'un employ une carrière. France has an island. Little bros never heard of Corsica. Tagline. Evolution becomes revolution. Oh, you know what? I saw this in, um, in theaters. This is the uh, dawn of the planet of the apes. This is, I do this every time. This is the rise of the planet of the apes. By the way, I, just for me personally, dawn and rise are really tough because the sunrise is called the dawn. I personally think that the dawn comes before the rise. Because for me, the Caesar going, no, that's the dawn, the moment where the planet of the apes starts to rise. And then in the second movie, when they've established like their own society a little bit, but they're still at war with the humans, that's the rise of the planet of the apes. Now the war for the planet of the apes, we all get, okay? I do want to take issue with something. If you watch the Super Bowl, there was a what I would call a disgusting new marketing habit. I want us all to stand in solidarity uh, and stop it before it takes off. Movie trailers are cooked, okay? First, maybe like five or six years ago, they started doing trailers 
where they would run a like a five second teaser of what's going to be in the trailer before the 30 second trailer. They're like people's attention spans are so cooked. They need to know what they're going to see in the next 30 seconds or they're going to like click off. You know why their attention span is cooked is because people are doing stuff like that, man. The, the thing that they're doing now, I think, is even worse. They, during the Super Bowl, they would play a teaser for something, and then they would say, the full trailer can now be found online. Bro, I'm watching your ad as we speak. Just out of principle. I'm, I'm, I'm watching the Super Bowl, man. I'm not pulling, going to my PC, typing out... Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes full trailer and watching it, you had your you had your shot. And you said, no, 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 I don't want to do that. It's a mill a minute. It's fucking Hollywood, bro. If Temu can afford 17 ads, I'm pretty sure that whoever, it's 20th Century Fox, which is now Disney, can afford. They already paid for 30 seconds. They can't pay for a minute. They paid Samuel L. Jackson $72 million for Secret Wars and two people watched it. Won't somebody think of the corporations? Oh, it's an ad, bro. They made it to be watched. We will not be Googling full trailer, okay? You can put it on TV. I'm not, I'm not watching an ad for an ad. That's, we've gone too far. Movie to movie. Riddick to the Green Mile. Movie posters used to have a soul, bro. Now, I'm not talking about Riddick here. Look at this. Nowadays, they would just outsource this to AI. And it would look like a fucking inedible donut or something like that. Riddick is good. Listen, you motherfucker. The Chronicles of Riddick is good. Riddick, the like 2013 third movie in the Pitch Black series. I haven't seen it, but I've heard that it wasn't that good. But the Chronicles of Riddick is also, in my opinion, the Chronicles of Riddick is kind of overrated, but it at least it hails from an era where you could make like a mid-budget sci-fi movie. Also, it has Calm Fior in it. Also, from, you guessed it, Michael Mann's The Insider. He plays one of the Southern attorneys. Now, let me think about this. We've got um, Michael Clark Duncan, Tom Hanks, Sam Rockwell, and David Morse. On the other hand, I don't know anybody in Riddick. Dave Bautista, Carl Urban, Bokeem, this it's a star-studded cast, bro. So I'm just going to connect. I think it's too easy because Vin Diesel was in Saving Private Ryan, right? So why don't we connect? We'll be a little bit more interesting with it. Let's get marooned first. Let's go Bokeem Woodbine, The Rock, 1996, and then let's work our way from here. I, me personally, you know me, I always, wait a minute, David Morse is in this. I saw David Morse and I went, <laughs> I'm going to go to 12 Monkeys. Why don't you just go to the Green Mile, bro? Look at that. Chat, who else is in the BK drive-thru right now? DL, we got me. Oh my God. I'm, I'm right behind you. Can you pay it forward? Hi, can I take your order? 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 pies, 55 cokes, 100 tater tots, 100 pizzas, 100 tenders, 100 meatballs, 100 coffees, 55 wings, 55 shakes, 55 pancakes, 55 pasta, 55 peppers, and 155 taters. Okay, that'll be $680. Okay. A Canadian fast food chain, Mary Brown's Chicken, is opening their first location in the UK. What are your thoughts? Mary Brown's Chicken is... Uh, it's okay, it's not that good, but it is like one of the best smelling restaurants you'll ever walk by. It smells better than Subway. And I say that not with, like that's not faint criticism. The restaurant smells amazing. Also they sell potato wedges as their default potato, which is not a, um, that's not a typical potato configuration. So I give it some props for that. Also they, it's like Tuesdays, they have like a cheap, chicken sandwich or something. They haven't really ensconced themselves on the West Coast, but out East, they're, they're fairly popular. What was this game called? I guess that's the point, huh? Metacritic score of 85. This is from like the N64 era. I mean, this could straight up be like a banjo. That is not how that's spelled. Like a banjo, maybe a banjo tui, because I'm more familiar with Kazooie and I don't recognize it. Originally on the PlayStation 2. It's got to be a Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. 
This is King of Bards. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please. Oh, baby, don't go. I know Kingdom Hearts. Well, bro thinks I didn't cry when I left the 100 Acre Wood. Why didn't you play three then? Because I'm not 14 years old anymore. <laughs> when I was 14, I was willing to deal with the Ansem, Roxas, Soxas, Zorxas, Heartless, etc., etc. There's no shot you played through Kingdom Hearts. Um, back before Kingdom Hearts was a game you played through when you were a nerd, it was just something that Squaresoft put out after a decade of nonstop 106 mile an hour fastballs. So you just by default played the next thing that they came out with. It wasn't like taking a, a stand in the culture war. You were just like, I'm going to play it because those fuckers made Final Fantasy 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. This is Spelunky. I can see th this is just how it looks to me at the best of times. <laughs> Now, let me say the ads are getting more targeted. New curly fries and wings from Pizza Pizza. If Pizza Pizza ever opens up a location in the United Kingdom, do not go there. The pizza crust is made of cardboard. They make all the pizzas 18 hours before they're sold and then put them through a toaster oven to give you a slice. Do not do it. I know you're going to be like, two slices is three pounds sterling. It's not worth it, man. I'm go to someplace else. Go to Wagamama or something. It'll be, it, it'll be worth it. Pizza Pizza is only worth going to if you're a Queens University student and it's like 1 a.m. and you know that there's going to be fights at the corner of Princess and Division and you just want to kind of be there kibitzing. This is Mickey Mouse. Mickey. Mickey Mania, the timeless adventures of Mickey. <laughs> this guy looked Disney, and then there was like, there's a, this is not the game I'm thinking of. There's a game on Genesis and on Super Nintendo that's like Mickey Mouse and the Forest of Illusion or something like that. So I thought this was that. I've never heard of this game before in my life, but the Castle of Illusion, there you go. How do you feel about the legally distinct franchise Pizza 73? Is that how that works in Ontario? We have the same thing in BC. So there's a, a three out of 10 pizza chain called Fresh Slice. And uh, they went really heavy with like their franchising. And then I guess like corporate tried to bend over the franchisees. So half the franchisees split. And now they have like a new, there's like a pizza war. They're having a mid off between like Fresh Slice and Fresh Pizza or something like that. And I'm like, guys, guys, settle down. Nobody wants either of you, okay? You should, but... If you would just combine your efforts, you might have a chance. Panna goes fire. I'm just going to say it. Vancouver by the slice pizza world is pretty low. Panago, I don't think they even do by the slice. I don't mind Panago for delivery. Um, Uncle Fatiz is like okay. Fresh slice is pretty bad. And then everything else is like... Um, Neapolitan pizzas, which is fine, but sometimes you just want to walk into a, a pizzeria and get like two slices on a paper plate, eat them in four minutes and like get on with your day. I don't want to sit there and like they're pushing the Neapolitan pizza through the oven and I got to wait like, you know, 11 minutes for it to come out and I want to get like a Coke Zero, but they don't have Coke Zero. They only have like Boylan's. What's the problem? Boylan's is so much better. Yeah, but a Coke Zero at a pizzeria is like $1.50 and a Boylan's root beer is going to be like four seventy five. dollars just like, we, 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 need, we need to just tone it down a little bit. Pizza Garden is pretty good. I'll give you Pizza Garden. I don't even want to talk about New York pizza, okay? Because like we were there, I've told the story so many times. We were there for Champions of Fire. All I wanted to do, in four days of being in New York City, all I wanted to do was eat one slice of New York pizza. I'm not ragging on Rob, okay? Because I understand he's like, they may never come back to the city again. I got to get them like, what could be the best pizza? The end result is that like one night we were like, okay, let's go get some pizza. And then there's like pizza all around you because you're in 
Manhattan and all the New Yorkers are getting into arguments like, no, you can't go to that pizza place that's like on the corner there. Instead, you got to go back to like, we're going to walk up to Alphabet City. When we get to Alphabet City, we're going to turn left on the Wabash and then like there's a Joe's Pizza. I know there's a closer Joe's Pizza, but the Joe's Pizza that's in Alphabet City is way better than the one that's on the Lower East Side. So we walked for like, I don't even know, it was like an hour or an hour and a half. And then, like, by the time we got to the Joe's Pizza, we walked by, like, a hundred pizzerias. By the time we got to the Joe's Pizza, it was closed. And they were like, yeah, that makes sense. And I, they were like, there's another one that's only, like, six blocks away. And I, I had to call it. It was, like, three or four in the morning. And I was like, this is fucking stupid, bro. We're in, like, the biggest city in the United States of America. And we can't get anything because we're, like, being gate kept. We, we took an Uber back to our hotel and went to sleep. So I still, I, in New York, I did not have a slice of pizza. I know how crazy it is, but like, sometimes you just gotta, it's the perfect example of like, perfect is the enemy of pretty good. I'm not gonna know whether the pizzas, I'm just gonna, I'm in New York as a tourist, I'm gonna eat a six out of 10 slice of pizza and I'm gonna be like, this is the best pizza I've ever had because I'm primed to love it. I'm not coming, I'm not a hard critic, man. Just give me a slice. Three words from 1993. The Incredible Journey. I typed thus, so this is just going to take a second. Executed in near perfection, this superior adaptation of the perennial favorite no novel will find its core public among girls, but should prove satisfying enough to a range of audiences. Francis Hodgson Burnett's rather gothic 1911 children's book into an evocative, beautifully realized picture. I have no idea. I'm embarrassed. Honors its classics. Is this Le Petit Prince? Pet Petite Maman? <laughs> I, have, I have no idea, bro. Even from this, it's, it's the giving tree. The Secret Garden! This movie was everywhere when I was a kid. <laughs> Everyone was going crazy for the secret garden when I was a kid. This resurfaced something in my brain. Did I tell you guys, have you ever read The Giving Tree? So The Giving Tree is a story, it's basically written, I apologize to all the other parents, it's written by the saltiest parent of all time. The, the tree is a metaphor for what you give when you're a parent. It's, it, every page is like, and the, the, the selfish boy came up to the tree and said, I'm hungry, can I have some of your fruit? And the tree said, well, sure, I'm not using it. Why don't you, why don't you pick every piece of fruit off of me while you're at it? And then like it came out, like the tree was fucking dying. It was all branches. And the boy was like, well, you don't give me shade anymore. And the tree was like, I'll give you as much shade as I can, you know? So the whole point of the story is that the parent, they're giving everything and they would do even more than they were asked of, okay? But it is, I, I always find it a little bit like, you had the kid giving tree, just so you know. Nobody forced you to have the kid. But my kid at daycare read the giving tree and I was like, what's the giving tree about? And she was like, it's about a, a kid who loves a tree very much. And I was like, first off, you really missed the fucking point. But in a way that you kind of are like warm in my heart here because that is maybe like a flip side interpretation of the giving tree. From the parent perspective, I mean, it's, it's easy to read it and be like, it's true, no one does emotional labor like us. I think that's easy to be seduced into that like woe is me narrative. But in the, the kid's eye, they're like, I fucking love that tree. And I was like, you know what? You made me, you made me think about it a little bit. She got, she got the gears of turning. Keanu Reeves, actually, obviously there's a, a, a lot of options there. Me personally, why don't we go with, uh, why don't we go with something like Constantine? Although I'm realizing Constantine is going to be like the, the consensus second order pick. So if we could get a third order pick, something like, um, maybe even like a point break or something like that. People who watch this movie when it came out are too busy doing their jobs to be playing movie grid at this time of day. I'll live with that. And then released from 1990 to 2015, we got to go um, Always Be My Maybe. It's going to be enough of a, a stealth choice to be low, I think. Hoo-ho!
What? Oh, that's after 2015. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Okay, fine. Something's got to give. Okay, show me results on that one. I can live with it. We are still top 62%. Now that's a poster, man. Guardians, Guardians, Mamma Mia, Diana. That's a, these posters are horrendous, bro. This poster kind of goes insane, though. Holy. Gen Z won't let you make a movie like this anymore. They would say, what's the point of the sex scene? Just get back to the violence. <laughs> so true, so true. <laughs> Biggest plus two I can give. But what is the point of the sex scene? They're fucking hot, bro. That's the point of the sex scene. What's the point of seeing James Bond, like, blow eight dudes' heads away with the hollow point rounds in his pistol? Like... I just, I worry sometimes because I was talking about this in Apollo's chat. It's another reason I almost blew a gasket in Apollo's chat. Apollo was like, I can't see this movie. I've been spoiled on it. I can't see this movie. I've been spoiled on it. And I was posting like, no, bro, no. You're in danger of thinking that movies are just stories where things happen and not an art form in and of themselves, you know? When something happens in a movie, just because it doesn't have something relevant you can pull into the Wikipedia plot synopsis to explain how the character moved from like start to middle to end, that doesn't mean that it's valueless to be watching it. It has an impact on your emotions, it has an impact on your mental state, it makes you feel something, like that's, that, that's what it's there for, man, that's what it's there for! Sorry. It's like, oh, I can't eat a hamburger, I know what it tastes like. Mm. What's the point of eating a hamburger? I already know it's got cheese on it. Some of you fuckers can't handle The Insider by Michael Mann, okay? That's all I'm saying. And because of that, you get spell check. Turning. A noun meaning the act or course of one that turns. Turning. Mm, the course of one that turns. You know for who the bell tolls? Infant. A noun meaning a child. Mm. Je voudrais un petit... Beaujolais pour les enfants. Twisty. A <laughs> noun meaning an act of twisting, the state of being twisted. Twisty. The state of being twisted? <laughs> you wouldn't get it. Ugliness. A noun meaning the quality or state. U-G-L-I, you ain't got no alibi. Frogs. A noun. <laughs> okay, next round. <laughs> Third graders doing the dolls be like frogs. Hmm. Bellwether. A noun meaning one that... No! There's no A! <laughs> nictitate. A verb meaning wink. Wink is an alteration of nictat from Latin nictatus, meaning to blink. Nictitate. A verb meaning wink. Nictitate. Wink is an alteration... <laughs> <laughs> oh. So true. Nictitate. Strychnine. A noun meaning a bitter, poisonous alkaloid. No. Oh. I mean, if we're talking bitter, poisonous alkaloids, my head is immediately like, ah, oh, duh, strychnine. Voluminous. A adjective meaning having or marked by great volume. 14 out of 15, but I got to say, they, they kind of did not bring the heat today. These are kind of easy words. 1A. A toothpick changes everything. 1A changes everything. Easiest heart I've ever seen. Well, you know what? We go again. This time, we, we were trying to get to 30 overall. Icarian. A noun meaning the son of Daedalus, who to escape imprisonment flies by means of artificial wings, but falls into the sea and drowns when the wax of his wings melts as he flies too near the sun. The word... That's pissing me off, because the bro's name is Icarus. What the hell is Icarian? That... I. In Greek, it's a carrion. Oh, my God. Well, it's, it's supposed to be... I don't know how to spell Greek, bro. I know how to spell English. Canubial, an adjective meaning Sometimes. of or relating to the married state. Conjugal, Canubial. derived from Latin terms con and nubere, meaning to marry along with I am suffix. <laughs> Canubial, a... Yes! <laughs> Canubial, C-A-N-N-U-B-I-A-L, Canubial. Agate. A noun meaning a fine-grained, variegated chalcedony, having its colors arranged in stripes, blended what? in clouds, or showing moss-like forms. The word originates from Middle English, 
borrowed from Anglo-French and Latin. Agate. A noun meaning a fine-grained, variegated chalcedony. What is a variegated chalcedony? <laughs> it sounds like something that Guy Fieri would get on diners, drive-ins, and dives. He'd be like, and then we put on our proprietary spice rub, and I can't tell you what's in it. There we, then the final step, we variegate our chalcedony, and there you go. Netsuke, a noun meaning a small and often intricately carved toggle, as of wood or ivory, used to fasten a small container to a kimono sash. Japanese etymology traces the origins and evolution of words in the Japanese language. Netsuke. That's wrong, apparently, huh? Sedulous. An adjective meaning involving or accomplished with careful perseverance. Okay, we, 18 is all they get. Gagaku. A noun meaning the ancient court music of Japan. This term originated from the Japanese... Yes! Gagaku! <laughs> Clary Hugh. A noun meaning a light verse quatrain, rhyming A-B, and usually dealing with a person named in the initial rhyme. Clary Hugh. A noun meaning a light verse quatrain, rhyming A-B, and usually dealing with... Wow. You want to talk about nuts on the table? Gamers be like, oh, I hate the state of AAA games. Meet me in Spellcheck Battle Royale then, okay? I'm taking on all comers. Or as they say in Spellcheck.xyz, all pultritutors. Adduced. A verb meaning to offer as example, reason, or proof. In all right, well, we go again. Agnolotti. A noun meaning pasta in the form of semicircular cases containing a filling, as of meat, cheese, or vegetables. Agnolotti is Italian. Oh. <laughs> Connoisseur. Ooh. A noun meaning expert, especially one who under... No. <laughs> we go again. We go against two S's in connoisseur, huh? Crew. A noun meaning a private organization staging festivities, such as parades, during Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Crew. A noun meaning a private organization staging festivities, such as parades, during Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Crew. It can't be this. It a has noun to be that. Oh. <laughs> Primordial. A adjective meaning... I got in my own head, man. Divan. A noun meaning the privy council of the Ottoman Empire. Divan originates from Persian meaning an account book, later adopted by Turkish. Devon. An that was a bit of a flyer. <laughs> Adelaide. A geographical name. Claustrophobic. An adjective meaning affected. If you combine this with a typing test, I am not... I'm going plat, at least, okay? Automated. I don't know if you're, if you're watching this. Or if maybe someone will link you the clip. I'm sure you got other stuff to do. But what if you turn spellcheck.xyz into a web-based battle royale? A typing test combined with a spelling test. Just think about it. And then invite streamers to a tournament. Latitudinarian. A adjective <laughs> meaning not insisting on strict conformity to a particular... Latitudinarian. It's spelled like it sounds, bro. Latitudinarian. Propound. A verb meaning to offer for discussion. Methuselah. A noun meaning an ancestor of Noah held to have lived. That didn't look right, but I'll take it. Lasco. A geographical name. I don't know. Whatever. Let me guess. It's in Peru. I'm on the place right next to my house in Peru. The store right next to my house in Peru where I park my bike. Analgesia. A noun yep. meaning insensibility. Pastiche. A noun meaning. We're cruising now. Machiavellian. An adjective meaning of or relating to Machiavelli or Machiavellianism. No! Polemic. A noun meaning... She was feasting on that one. In New York City? Nugatory. An adjective meaning of little or no consequence, trifling, inconsequential. An adjective meaning Derived uh, as from a Latin Snickers? nugatorius, nugari means to trifle, and nuge refers to trifles. Nugatory, an adjective meaning of little. <laughs> it must be no O. Kanji, a yes! noun meaning. A you, an idiot, I don't know kanji. Me, a genius, uh, K A N J I. <laughs> Dury, a noun meaning. Oh, I guess I should have listened to what it was. All right, okay, go. Last one, last one. Diphtheria, a noun meaning an acute. 
the H is inverted. Asok. A okay, we go again. Farfalla. A noun meaning butter. It's a butterfly shaped pasta. Oh, you think I don't know farfalle? Chantilly. A geographical name meaning town in northern. Whoops. <laughs> okay, one more. One more! One more! Tarpaulin. A noun meaning a. I don't even need to hear it. It's better if I don't, if I know less about the word and I just let my brain go through the flow chart. Blancmange. A noun meaning a usually sinuously. A adjective meaning of a serpentine or wavy form. Strenuous. A adjective meaning vigorous. I told you. I told you. Koine. A noun meaning a dialect or language of a region that has become the common or standard language of a larger area. Koine originates from Greek, meaning common, derived from the feminine form of koinos. Koine. A noun meaning a dialect or language of a region that has become the common or standard language of a larger area. Koine originates from Greek, meaning common, derived from the feminine form of koinos. Koine. A noun meaning a dialect or language of a region that has become the common or standard language of a larger area. Koine originates from Greek, meaning common, derived from the feminine form of koinos. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'll tell you what got into my head there. So I was like, Greek has emphasis on the K. But then I was thinking, who's the most famous Greek guy of all time? Boom, Archimedes. How do we spell Archimedes? With a fucking C. So I'm like, just because it's Greek doesn't mean we ported it into English and kept the K. We might have replaced it with the, with the C. And then I, none of it looked right, though. None of it looked right. Nagahide, a trademark meaning used for vinyl-coated fabrics. Nagahide. How could it not be that? They should make, Kate, are you still here? They should make a spell check XYZ for Korean. The high score would literally be like 972,421 because the word, there's exceptions, but the words are spelled like they sound. Like my ass can't spell Naga Hide in English, but if Naga Hide in English is the same as Naga Hide in Korean, I could spell the shit in Korean. Naga Hide. We got to fix this language, bro. Now, I wouldn't know how to type it because I don't have one of those keypads that has the hangul on the, on the English keys, but... Vicissitudes. Vis a noun meaning the quality or state of being changeable. Vicitudes. Mutability. That would have been a huge one, man. Fouette. A noun meaning a quick whipping movement of the raised leg in ballet, usually accompanying a pirouette. Oh. <laughs> Icarian. A noun meaning the son of Daedalus, who to escape imprisonment flies by means of artificial wings. Fuck you, back out. Okay, we go one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Resinous. A oh, noun too bad Dan's taking this week off. Loop. A noun. I should have listened. Why would, why would I think a hard word would be L-O-O-P? <laughs> Must be L-O-U-P-E. Orchids. A noun. Monsieur, a noun meaning a Frenchman of... Come on. Cormorant, a noun meaning... A Benison, a noun meaning blessing, benediction. It's not venison this time, we know. Guarantor, a noun meaning one... Two lives left to go ten. It can be done. Bucolic, a adjective... Excruciating, a adjective meaning causing great pain or anguish. What? Disgorged. A verb meaning to discharge by the throat and mouth. Vomit. Oh, discord! She, she had an accent! She had an accent! She said dis, discorged! I mean, I have to do one more at this point. Um, the card says moops. Azalea. A noun meaning any of a subgenus. Azalea. Any of a subgenus of banks. Quashi or core. A noun meaning severe malnutrition in infants and children, especially of impoverished... Listen, just basically suck me. That word does not exist. Even my doctor would be like, that's flesh-eating bacteria disease. Quash your core. Fucking Latin ass doctor. Sick transit gloria, motherfucker. Vini vidi vici ass. Bouillon. A noun... Bouillon. A noun meaning a clear seasoned soup. No! I'm cooked, man! I can't even spell bouillon! Engrossed. A verb meaning to copy. Ethylene. A noun meaning. Invade. Of. 
Invade, a word that sounds like a word, but it's not actually a word. Allelopathy, a noun meaning the suppression of growth of one plant species by another due to the release of toxic substances. Allelopathy originates from German, combining allelo with pathy. Allelopathy. I gotta hear this again. A noun again. meaning don't, the suppression of me. growth of one plant species by another due to the release of toxic substances. Allelopathy originates from German, combining allelo with pathy. Allelopathy. It must a noun be an o meaning the suppression of, of growth of one plant No! Belied. A noun meaning a large meteor, fireball, especially one that explodes. This word originates from French and Latin languages. Belied. A noun meaning a large meteor, fireball, especially one that explodes. This word originates from French and Latin languages. Belied. A noun... I'm cooked on that one. I just don't know. Odin. A noun meaning the supreme god and creator in... <laughs> Chevalier. A noun... Finally, some real words. Literal. A adjective... Ooh, oh, littoral! I gotta listen. <laughs> littoral! She needs to learn how to talk, bro! Maquette. A noun meaning a usually small preliminary model, as of a sculpture or a building. From Latin... Fuck you. I am the one who knocks. Rorschach. An adjective meaning of relate... Well, I guess the H's were on, or the C's were on sale. I mean, I only got, I, I got one more in me. I got one more in me. That's it. Trochi. A Tro noun meaning a metrical foot consisting of one long syllable followed by one short syllable or of one stressed syllable Bitch, followed by one code. unstressed syllable, as in apple. The word comes from Greek trochaios, meaning running via Latin and Middle French. Trochi. A noun meaning a metrical foot, consisting of one long syllable, followed by one short <laughs> syllable, or of one stressed syllable, Trochi. followed by one unstressed syllable, as in apple. The word comes from Greek trochaios, meaning running, via Latin and Middle French. <laughs> That's fucked, man. That's fucked. This one doesn't even have a word. Involuntary. Hmm. Mm, pulchritudinous. Hmm. Vociferosity. Mm. <laughs> you did bully her? I guess I did. Hmm. Insurmountability ness. All right, we have killed the website. In insurmountability ness in Liz's Reaper oil. <laughs> hey, we're going to play Helldivers too. A Carolina Reaper in shit your pants vodka chili oil. That's what they said. Oh, yeah. Did you realize, Ryan, that when you're on a planet, we, you can choose the difficulty of the I did uh, last yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> did you realize that you have the most beautiful face? <laughs> I did. Did you realize did. that we're floating in space? <laughs> we are. Damn. I don't know this one. I ain't thought about it's that. That's a flaming lips. It is by the flaming lips. Uh, the flaming lips with uh, <laughs> Liz's <laughs> Reaper oil. <laughs> this guy's been pounding those videos, man. Uh, oh. Heath is liberated now, really? Damn, look at y'all with your orange shit. Uh, habanero oh, chili! <laughs> I, lo I love he just like, he'll, he'll just like eat a whole dry pepper, stem included. Yeah. But then yeah. bites the raw ones. Yeah, he like bites the tips off the raw ones. <laughs> Dude, the videos were like two minutes long. First 30 seconds, he's going beast mode. Last yeah. like minute, I'm like, this guy's gonna go to the hospital. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't. He understand. starts sweating he's, and coughing and stuff. And, like, he's yeah. like Homer Simpson. He must like coat his mouth in wax before he eats that <laughs> shit. Did you enjoy the Super Bowl last night, Ryan? Uh, the first three quarters were easily the worst Super Bowl I've ever <laughs> yeah. watched in my life. Dude, it was. It was uh, 
It's fucking scripted. awful. Well, I, I, I didn't watch and I uh, showed up at uh, Taffy's house at the halftime show. Oh, oh so you, well, you missed most of the dog shit then. Yeah, that's what I'm told. Like, I got there and they're like, this is the most boring game. And then I was like, I don't know. This is kind of dope, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end. You that happened the time. The Super Bowl last night? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was in a Chinese restaurant where the TV was on the wall directly behind me. So I kept turning my head like 180 <laughs> degrees and looking at the game. I thought you were going to say everyone's looking at you. Super Bowl on TV. So everyone's looking at me. Yeah, like, and, like the whole place looking in your direction because they're watching, you know? Oh, well, they were. Yeah, I was right on the TV. Well, <laughs> sure like... Oh, you're just taking us somewhere else. I pretend you. everyone was, uh, they were all there watching you. <laughs> they were there oh, for the yeah. Bowl. They are yeah, watching yeah. me try to, try to eat slippery mushrooms with chopsticks. <laughs> yeah. Slippery mushrooms. Slippery mushrooms. They were slippery, man. Is you know, like the Chinese one of these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, the Chinese, yeah. the Chinese restaurant chopsticks that are like the long plastic, plastic ones. Yeah, yeah. If you get like a mushroom or something that's saucy, it's it's like the biggest challenge you'll ever have, like for dexterity, because it's just like you have to grab it just enough. This is a four star. Okay, it's I can't fucking see. Dark, bro. I land on a building. It is really dark. I can't see. Do we have a flashlight? It's, it's, I got, I got the boss on me already. <laughs> he broke my freaking leg, dude. I, I only have, I only have a very risky stratagem to call in, so I don't want to do it on these clothes. <laughs> no, it's going to kill, it's going to kill everybody. Call it in, brother. I need stabs. I need stabs. Oh, God. All right, get out of here. Been, get out of here. It's going to go to hell. Get out of here. It's going to get out of here. Wow. I have also been killed by claws. I didn't throw my mine. Bro, yet. I am Get getting reinforced on. It did look like a mine at the end of the day. I, have uh, I dropped an orbital strike right on top of your reinforce, so be careful. <laughs> I'm okay. killed by a charger. Here I come. Oh, God. Uh, oh, I did throw my minefield down. <laughs> killed by a I think I, I think my <laughs> turret landed on top of your head. <laughs> it did, it did. This is wonderful. Oh, this the turrets, the turrets are going to kill us. <laughs> Samples! Ryan's looking pretty good there. They're they're gonna oh, there come all those mines! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't remember throwing those guys. I might have... Oh. That's my bad, guys. I'll try to do no more nighttime missions. I don't know if this is based on Ooh. Sweden time or what, but... What? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I can see. My brightness was way too low. Hey, maybe I should just turn my uh, brightness up. Actually, a yeah. great idea. <clears throat> it's pretty dark. It's not What's super there? dark for me, though. Oh, no, they, they, they can, was they can climb, bro. Dark. They can climb. Maybe your changes have not been applied. You have to, you have to apply them. I, I did that like six times before mm -hmm. I applied them. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I ain't got Ooh, no Ooh, that's so ammo. much nicer. All right, all right, bring me back from the dead, please. Uh, with like a thing? I yes. got him, please. Okay, you got him. Oh, I just dove into see. a guy. Like, I think someone's chasing me. Oh, I think there's a door here. Oh, break action shotgun. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, this we can blow up. Holy cow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Did that bring, you were above that. What, what, the what hell? kind of grenades you got in that thing, man? Super credits. I don't, I don't see you. Oh. And then there's like this red spot. Oh, right here. There's the bile titan. Where's the bile oh, titan? Fucking that's the shit, bile bro. Titan? Holy shit, bro. Holy titan. shit. He's, he's huge, bile, bro. He's violent on my titan. <laughs> I'm throwing a, a cluster bomb at him. Be careful. Get away from that. Oh, he do be big. Oh, yeah, that's the largest thing I've ever seen. seen. He is a bile titan. Oh! <laughs> okay, I got, ah! <laughs> I got killed by a crusher. I got killed by nothing. A crushing charge. We got uh, three, three and reinforces when you get a chance. Ooh, got huge! It. I did. You are gonna be on the bile titan though. Beautiful. The closer you are to danger, the further you are. I've been killed instantly by the bile titan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, he's really. Oh, where'd you come from? They can climb though. They're evolving. 
Yeah, they're finding a way. I'm gonna need you to throw me uh, as far away as possible. I'm trying to kill him with these things. That's, that I think that's a great idea, in. actually. Hold on top. Yes! <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> Cory, Cory the goat. Let's go. Cory the stallion. Ow. There's a lot going on on this side. Check guys. this out. Mm. <laughs> Just immediately Whoa. blew up the resupply. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Uh, Justin, I got you. I got I'm him. Coming back. I'm coming back. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna land on the Boy, I'm it's over for me. Kill it. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, sorry, Justin. I did not see you in the mix there. Oh. Get out of there! Oh, oh, is this the exit? Let me in! Yes. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, oh, I made it, I made it. Are you kidding me? I got swarmed by bugs. How did you kill me? You died? Yeah, it said killed by HC Justin. Oh, no. Oh, did I throw a grenade? They landed on you? Wait, did everybody die? People are saying the door killed me, but I thought I got in. We're about to find out. I shot you at the last second, apparently. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> I didn't die the whole, like, I, died. I was alive yeah. for so long. <laughs> Straight up. We're gonna make it. We're actually gonna <laughs> bang. <laughs> he ended me. Ryan made it. I made it, hey, but I'm yes. level zero apparently. Yeah, just say you're level zero. And you're coming on that kind of planet, man. You hit R. Where is, where is the uh, hit R? Is R. The, uh, super and then you credits. Have Superstore for the super credits. Okay. Okay. I see. Now that it's daytime, I could probably turn the brightness down a little bit. <laughs> he didn't apply. This one's for you, Ecap. I'm popping out of the hell pod. Oh, I just got into the hell pod. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. He didn't apply. Options. Display. Screen brightness. It has been applied. Ecap. My shit's so bright now. See you in 600 seconds, buddy. Blitz. <laughs> That's what happens when you put your... Their last message was, OMG, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. sorry. Okay. You know, okay, sorry, sorry. Slash un timeout ah. E cap. There you go. Okay, you're just wanted to scare you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> ban him, ban him for forever. Oh. Ban him for, for at least ten minutes. Oh man, oh man. Sorry. <laughs> Sheesh. You'd be a great teacher, man. So true. Except I was a horrible teacher. Oh, you were probably fine. Well, by yeah. ESL teacher standards, yeah. Yeah, the, the it's not. <laughs> it's not exactly rock. It's, it's mostly daycare. Yeah. At least oh, you man. didn't come to class hungover. This guy's never met an ESL teacher before. <laughs> <laughs> Although I wasn't awesome. hung over for class too often, but that's largely because I started work at 2 p.m. Yes, yes, I was about to say, yeah, I got I got lucky. That, that was, was sick. Like, like the afternoon. You you work from 2 to 10 p.m.? It's like, uh, as a 23-year-old, that was like an ideal shift. I see the egg. It did. It did we land up. on each other? Nothing. Uh, you get oh. lucky. Yeah. Oh, sorry, not eggs, holes. Oh, there's so many holes here. So there's a lot, Justin, of, lot of lot of. Oh, I'm not dead. What's up? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! For these ones, you have to I'm throw dead. grenades into. Uh, oh yeah. Holes. A guy biled on me and I died. They are biling, bro. They do be biling. I landed on him. He didn't die. Okay, man. <laughs> okay, Ryan. I got you. I got you. I'm. I'm bringing it. What can I do? You killed me. I also brought I'm you back. I got biled on. <laughs> oh. You brought me back so you could kill me. Reinforce, 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 reinforce. Oh, I killed a hole <laughs> with my pod. I'm throwing an eagle behind us. Run. Huge. Great tech. 
Thank uh -oh. you, Corey. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> I got you. You're rezzed already. What's the computer terminal all about? Uh, that uh, might oh. be how we escape. Uh, okay. Why did the mines land on me? Oh god, there's mines all around me. Is this the X fill? Wow! So you put, put put the put the you load the shells into this thing and then you'll get you'll get another uh, whatever it's called. Dude, I got launched like halfway across the map. Something fell on top of me and it it I don't even know. I went to outer space, man. I'm not even dead. I gotta run all the way back. Where does the shuttle show up? Right in the middle of this? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, boys, it's not good for me here. I'm just eating them. Send them in there. <clears throat> Throwing an orbital strike. Oh, uh, but he's chasing Apollo. Tomorrow. Apollo, this one's for you, brother. Oh! Oh, you, you got him. Head off. Let's go. Now that oh, I know the, God. the <laughs> rocket launcher comes with two rockets, so I'm oh, unstoppable, Jesus. bro. Woo. I'll be right back. Right. We're doing the next mission. No sweat. No mission. sweat. Right. I'm not getting on you. I got 10 seconds to, to rack up some stats. Five. Four. See you. You have maintained our way of life. Oh, man. Apollo, well, he's not here. He was like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I said, relax. I'll handle it. Shouldered the rocket launcher. <laughs> And then the bug's head fell off. Oh, man. You guys got problems and you're behind? Oh. Excuse, Excuse me? me? Okay, one moment. I'm, I'm interacting with the terminal. I might have to help you on this one. I'm not sure. I think I have to turn it. Engaging terminal. I have raised one the tower. I think we just gotta, we gotta wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, no, oh. I have to interact with this for you. I have to, like, turn it to the right frequency or whatever, right? You all right up there, brother? Come down here. Look at. Don't relax. relax. I'll handle, handle it. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> killed you. <laughs> that one was not even close. Behind you. Behind you. Okay. You go. <laughs> it didn't even kill the alien. Yes, it did nothing. Oh my god. I'm at my asses of grass, dude. Your ass is flesh, soldier. Never forget <laughs> that. I don't Huge know if that made play. it. Huge like it play. I'm gonna join in. I'm throwing in a, a cluster strike. Be I careful. Can't switch. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Are we I the bad things you love to see? I think we're the baddies. Oh, I have to oh, hold it. We definitely are. Reloading! Cover me! <laughs> Cover me! Oh, no. Bro was shooting at you and I died. Ooh. I got you, Apollo. You're coming right back into the fray. Don't even sweat it. You're Those not going to miss a thing. Coming. Nice shot, soldier! Whew. I did blow you up with a grenade. Right? You know what? I liked it so much, I'm sending you back. What is this now? Uh, I've got a resupply. I got an SSD hard drive. What? Yeah, okay, I'll get a new computer. You don't have to rub it in. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have an SSD? I got an SSD. Wouldn't that be crazy? Come here, you stupid son of a bitch. Yeah, I can't shoot you if you're behind the rocks, man. Oh. Oh, I'm being There's always a little combine. It's Joker That's too many. That's man. too many. Do not come this way. Oh, well. Where are we going right now? I have to align a tower. Yeah, oh, I, I have to align you after you did the thing. 
I need somebody to align a tower. I'm coming back. I don't know what tower we have to align. How how much longer is it? It is done. Okay. Uh, it needs to go down and go uh, counterclockwise. Or no, sorry, clockwise. I'm a dumbass. Just tell me when. Okay. Yeah, you pretty much passed the half I put anyway. Uh, you're about to pass 12, and it needs to Big be. Big boy like coming. 10. Uh, so you are pain. good. You're good. Okay. Oh, the oh son of a bitch! They they hate me. They hate me. They hate me. Ah, <laughs> oh, this mother. F <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! All right, we've done that. Now we can go north. Oh! <laughs> oh no! My spine, dude! <laughs> what just happened? I didn't know he could do that. Oh, you break the building? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got yeah, sent to outer space. Dude, I'm going full eagle. Because the, the, people are always like, hey, NL, why don't you like Deep Rock Galactic, but you like Helldivers? Why don't you like Call of Duty Zombies, but you like Helldivers? Because no other game makes you hold control and then enter like a fighting game combo to do something. <laughs> when you get in battle and you're just like standing on a rock and then you just go like it's you feel so powerful. I wish I could keep running while doing it. That's my only complaint. Yeah, I bet you wish you could look at your phone while you do it too. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I, I can think... watch one more chili oil video. <laughs> the shit in the superstore sucks. I think I have to do this mission before I can raise our difficulty. Mm, one this Cosmic so Reaper wild. chili oil? <laughs> Imagine that being your shtick that, that like, sticks. And you I just know, have right? to keep, keep killing yourself. Every day, like, you're like, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Bujaloki dipped in... <laughs> and Liz's chili reaper oil. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but there was like, uh, it was kind of before I knew y'all, where uh, me and Paws used to do spicy challenges like every Sunday. I mean, yeah. I, I remember uh, that pl plenty. I yeah, remember. Yeah. But it, it, it was going on <laughs> like, he did say, like, like before I met y'all. <laughs> Make sure you... Like Deckard Cade. Yeah. That was, that was... <laughs> I remember. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was a, uh, some of that was uh, rough. Turns out. One of, one of them made an emo. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we did the fucking. I mean, I only ever did one Ooh. with you, Justin. And I don't think I ever want to do it again. Toggle ready, wait. I learned my yeah. lesson with those. That was a hard one. one. That was fucked. I ate, like, one of the hottest damn peppers I could get, and then I kind of owned it like a champion, and then 10 minutes later, I was indisposed on my bed, unable <laughs> to move. <laughs> I've never, I, Apollo, you should, yeah, of all people I know, I don't think you or Chibli should do that. No, 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 I did it once and I will never do it again. Yeah, that was like, only part one of the true torture I went through after it had uh, uh, gotten into my stomach. That is true, that is also the only time Justin ever booted up Hunt Showdown and then never touched it again and we never got through the tutorial. Oh, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry! Oh, I threw a sentry right on you, uh, Ryan. No sweat. Relax, all hands. Someone would, someone would be so kind as to. I got you, brother. Oh, did you Wait, get him? Okay. What did I throw? Oh, I the, oh okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's not what I meant. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> all right. This turret is so scary, dude. <laughs> so there's a, I marked a charger, but he's all, he's fully in armor. Oh, it's so tempting to just let it rip. That's Super right. credits. Yeah. Oh, I love a good hell bomb. I'm gonna watch this hell bomb. I'm gonna salute to this hell bomb. I just need some uh, support. Wee. Never mind, I'm gonna handshake to this hell bomb. Oh, I, I thought it just went off. I didn't realize. I was like, damn, they're being real brave. You gotta turn it on. Okay, it's turned on. Yeah, that'll help. That'll help. <laughs> good, just a little <laughs> extra <laughs> ordinance. It's far enough. Probably. Surely we're not too close. Oh Dang. my god. <laughs> that looks sick. Oh god. How come we didn't get it like a boop boop? I didn't destroy the facility building somehow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, can I call in another hell bomb? I, could no, be I should supply. just refresh my, my recoilless rifle. Oh. <laughs> 
That was that was great. Do I have my machine gun yet? I'm gonna touch that resupply a little bit. It's a dust tree. You gotta kill yeah, the tree so to get rid of the you, dust. Yeah, you blow this tree up and it's this tree with all the shit on it. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, like this? <laughs> hey. <Yes. laughs> We took out that warp spear what real we? good. I can see! I can see! <laughs> Quip! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Quip! I can, I can yep. see! Yep, that was, uh, <laughs> that's not was, how you do Why don't you leave the squeebing to the experts, the buddy? <laughs> you gonna squeeb under his, under oh, his body? Oh, double tap. I was holding it. I forgot how the button worked. Well, well, well. <laughs> Were you trying to? Squeeb. What's that mean? Uh, That's when you you dive or slide under an incoming aerial support through the bugs. Yeah, northeast, northwest. <laughs> I'm doing this backwards a hundred percent of the time. Oh, okay, I think, Ryan, I, I, think um, I killed. Some well, why would you run into the red light? I'm in the base still. I didn't. Oh, move, okay. Brother. Well, that's bro. That's not even on me. That's on the eagle. Like they didn't Take shoot. Responsibility, <laughs> man. They didn't shoot where I put it down. I was like, it's oh, your fault. It's the game's fault. You sound like me from three years ago. Listen, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. People are like, there's a red light near me, and I'm like, well, get, get out of the way, bro. That's what the light's for. Oh, there's an optional there's objective a, here. Where the hell were them corpses? I, I, Ton of shit. Yeah, I had a ton of shit. I oh, want to use that it. shit. She's smoky over here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Damn. Oh boy, that blew up a nice lot of boys. Lads. Oh crap! <laughs> I think that turret targeted you just directly. I'm not even worried about it, man. If I get hit, it's like shooting between your legs. If man. I get hit by the turret, that's my problem. I knew the risks. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I do have a primary gun. It turns out they're falling from the sky. Did you see that? I did. Yeah, they, they these guys you. jump like crazy. Ryan is in the shit, man. <laughs> oh, my brains. My brains. <laughs> 18 <laughs> FPS there. You guys are... What is wrong with your games? Mine doesn't drop oh, a yeah, single yeah. time. Hey. Well, well, well. Bet you guys wish you used as many Welcome stims back. as I did. <laughs> I got, seven, I got nine samples. Friendly fire damage, man. Is. You guys keep running. The reason you don't get friendly fire damage is because I'm smart enough to when I see the red light, I back up two steps. <laughs> weird that we only get hit by yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird. That's because you guys are going, oh, I threw it. Hey, hey, I even got shot by Corey's turret. I think it's bugged. It wasn't my turret. <laughs> Someone's turret. <laughs> Nobody else is, a, is Chad enough to take uh, just exclusively heavy weapons. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. We're gonna go extract. Extraction to the east. The extraction isn't just here? Ooh. No? No. I mean, it's close. Oh, but it's God, like they got chainsaws! <laughs> oh, it's us. South. Huge, South. huge. Reloading. Resupplying. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh. Get the fuck out of here! God damn. <clears throat> 10 seconds! <laughs> 10 seconds? <laughs> 20, it said. <laughs> oh. I thought it was supposed to be 10 minutes. That was like two minutes. Well, we, we killed him too fast. We're just too good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 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 that would have been really good. <laughs> Very deserved if that would have killed him. I didn't even see what it was. It was a grenade. grenade. You threw a grenade at me? No, no they, they, they didn't did. throw a grenade at you. Robot throwing a grenade, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Good stuff, I like I like Helldivers too. 
It's a good time. It's a good game. Fun. <laughs> very swag. Very swag. I like the game's it. Game's good. Apollo, I hope your sponsor stream happens at some point. Yeah, that, they told me they'd nobody in the day. My neighbors had people moving in, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. movers. They've been like walking between our houses all morning and afternoon. Every time they walk by, they look at me and I look at them. And it's like, it's getting a little weird. I love that for you. <laughs> but like, they, I, they're like six feet away maximum. Are you winking at them? No, but I'm giving them a look like, stop Always looking at me. I'm sure they're like, Dude, why is this little <laughs> goblin in the basement keep looking at us? <laughs> <laughs> this nerd with his headphones on looking at us. Wow, you guys really dropped the ball on that one. Listen, brother. I don't even I don't even know what we're starting on, and I don't care. Letterbox Larry's back for one, just one attempt, versus a guest who's who's lossless so far. This is a gimme. Little Miss Sunshine plus one point because it's on my Letterbox twenty twenty four. Hello, nice to meet you, guest five nine. I am Michael. All right, here we go. Good luck. Yeah, I'm just going to be honest with you. We're not going to be doing that. Enjoy your win. I'll play against somebody else. We're not, we're not starting with the macro. <laughs> Hello, I am Michael. Nice to meet you. Good luck, Chuck. We're, we won't be doing that today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day on Cine 2 Nerdle. Chili sushi and chant? Well, I, then I dare not say, I dare not say anything. Alec Baldwin kill shot? I'd have to say the Boss Baby too. Uh, boss Baby family business. Googling Gary's? In, they're, they're chatting, they're chatting. Call off the dogs, they're chatting. I saw them chatting. I have you muted? Then how do you know that I said I'm not gonna say anything, Chili sushi? Then how do you know I, I said I'm not gonna say anything? Interstellar, Hans Zimmer. Okay, Mystic Pizza. Movie 43. You love Richard Gere, huh? What do you know about Unfaithful, 2002? Help. Avengers Endgame? Bro, you don't even know how close you are. You don't even know how close you are because Diane Lane's in this, and I think Diane Lane is Superman's mom. Oh, brother, man of steel. American Hustle? I'd have to take you to Flirting with Disaster. 1996 via David O. Russell. I bet you thought I was good at this game when I didn't watch movies. Now that I've been watching movies, you're all in trouble, okay? <laughs> Excuse me? Dude, I'm just, mouth dropped a fart on me in the Discord. I never left the Discord. American Hustle. I'd have to take you to Flirting with Disaster. 1996 via David O. Russell. I bet... You thought I was good at this game when I didn't watch movies? Now that I've been watching movies, you're all in trouble, okay? Excuse me? <laughs> now he's in my head. He's in my head, Avengers Endgame. Reign over me, Don Cheadle. It was like a perfect fart, too. It was like a Google Chrome extension fart. Flight, Don Cheadle. Hotel Rwanda, Don Cheadle. Google Chrome extension fart with L <laughs> Aunt Liz's Reaper Royal. Good game, Chili Sushi. Good game. I have not received a reply from my wife yet. That means I guess I will, I will do another game. I'd have to take you to um, Train Spotting 2 via Ewan McGregor, who plays the candlestick. The Social Network. Good call. The Social Network. I got to go with like Camp Rock 2, the final jam. I'm going to go with High School Musical 3. Uh, that's what I, yes. That's not who I was trying to connect to. I was trying to connect via Brenda Song. Now that I think about it, I think she's from The Sweet Life with Zach and Cody. But you know, it's all. Greatest Showman via Zac Efron. Sensible play. How about Bad Education, 2019, Hugh Jackman, Allison Janney. Say, okay, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I don't know who's in this. 
I don't know shit that Rob Lowe's actually been in. Someone's in Pretty in Pink. I knew there's some, St. Elmo's Fire, John Hughes, Pretty in Pink, 16 Candles, The Breakfast Club. There's 16 Candles. Molly Ringwald is in Love Actually. A dead ass just made that up, apparently. Um, we'll go with the Home Alone on this one. John Hughes directed. We hit you with the, uh, the Apocalypto, because I don't want to get Apocalypto myself. I don't know who else is in Braveheart, quite frankly. I hope you got a good Gibson kill shot. It's not going to be the Passion of the Christ, because I'll just hit you with a Jim Cavazil and type the Sound of Freedom. Didn't expect that shit, did you? <laughs> what you know about the sound of freedom, data pips? They're like, ethically, I can't answer this question. I forfeit. And that's how we win. Count of Monte Cristo. Okay, how do you feel about frequency, little bro? Now, my ass is immediately trying to think of a Dennis Quaid movie. I, I know I'm not going to say what it is, but I have, I have two I could run by you. I've got two I could run by you if I have to. A dog's purpose, huh? I'm about to get Dennis Quaid kill shotted. I'm scared. Mine was in good company. Topher Grace, Dennis Quaid. Despicable, you motherfucker. <laughs> Miranda Cosgrove. I Carly goes to Japan. It's a set play. Drake and Josh go to Hollywood. Drake and Josh. Merry Christmas, Drake and Josh. Merry Christmas, Xbox. Now, the problem is, is Drake Bell is in Oppenheimer, but you already burned that on Dane DeHaan. Ice Age Continental Drift. It's Josh Peck anyway. Whatever, man. Is Kate live? Is she awake? Ice Age. John Leguizamo kill shot that I can get out of. It's got to be a, 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 it's a Dennis Leary kill shot. The ref. Baby driver, you son of a gun. Okay, West Side Story. Three stars, no heart from me, but I respected what it was trying to do. The Fault in Our Stars. I'll just level with you. I don't know, really know shit about Ansel Elgort. I'm going to guess he was in Divergent. <laughs> Hello, Kate. She has returned. The Born Identity. Easy. Save the Last Dance. Sorry, Kate. I might, I might be at this for another like two or three minutes. I'm, I'm, in, I'm fighting for my life here. Till... What the, who the hell is Sean Patrick Thomas? Till two, <laughs> till death. Till, no, 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 okay, um, skip me. Now that I think about it, I don't think they made it till two. Sister act. Grand, uh, uh, Frost Nixon. Okay, sister act two. Back in the habit. Me talking to myself in the insane asylum. Did you know that Frank Langella was married to Whoopi Goldberg? That's kind of crazy, man. I didn't, I didn't think of that when I watched Frost Nixon. Downton Abbey. You think I don't know shit about Maggie Smith? She's in every part. Oh, she's a Gosford motherfucking park. Mm, Maggie Smith's already been used three times. Oh, no, you're in trouble. <gasps> it's a die bird's eye chili. <laughs> How about uh, uh, red too? And you're going to say, no, you gave them red. Yeah, because I want them to play red so I can get out via some Bruce Willie, bro, or some Carl Urban. Over the hedge. Mm. 
sentence died the opening of the wild uh, the opening of Rocco's modern life be like mm, split yeah nice try probably take your ass to the Playmobil movie Rocco's modern life then that dude from the B-52s like Rocco's modern life I got to take you to quiz show. I made a mistake not playing Robert Redford earlier, and that's my mistake. Now I'm bringing you back to quiz show. Maybe the best movie of 1994. It kicks the shit out of Forrest Gump. Well, Pulp Fiction came out in 94, right? Okay, it kicks the shit out of Forrest Gump. Maybe it doesn't, it doesn't beat Pulp Fiction, I'll tell you. What the hell's the good doctor? I am a surgeon? No, I know this guy. He's, this is the guy who played the federal agent. He's probably in Babylon. Or Amsterdam, or Endgame, or uh, the Avengers version of Endgame. Good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. They got me. They got me on that one. Still a good, I mean, it's a well played game. 87, that's a solid one. Okay. It's a tough one, but all right, I see that Kate is not live yet. But at any moment, I could send you over there and eat lunch so my stomach can stop going. What's for lunch? Leftover pizza! <laughs> I've already had my two bagels today. All right, she called my bluff. I'm not going to send them in 30 seconds, but can you please go live so I can send them to you? I got stuff to do. She's live? Oh, you know what? I bet when um, she changed all her stuff, Discord is not like relinked with the Twitch. That makes perfect sense. Okay. I will send you over there. Enjoy your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Later. Gotta catch a hunker, a grouper, or a tuna. Gotta catch a hunker, a haddock, or a cod. Gotta catch a hunker, albacore. What the hell, man? How did I get nothing from the sea? Now we gotta switch it up slightly. Don't remember. How does the tune go during this part? <laughs> oh, Jesus.